Back with another episode of the Where You At show. Y'all know where we at, Baltimore City. But to be exact, we over east with it right now. Matter of fact, you go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where you from, where we at. Right now we at Hitman Studios. I'm at a session right now. My name is NTS Never. I'm from East Baltimore. And I'm right here rocking with the Where You At show. We're going to jump right into it. Let's take this back to what made you start fucking with the music. Well, I say like three years ago, I did the Ten Tools Challenge, Ten Tools Down Challenge. Um, I posted it on Facebook, so Facebook was popping. And I got 2K views on my little video, first time ever, you know, organizing, you know, lyrics, whatever, like dropping it. So once it got that, you know, feedback, you know, I just went on, I just stuck with it. On top of that, my brother, he read. So, you know, I'm his little sister, I wanna be like my brother. And he just came up with a plan, trying to bring some generational wealth up in it. And it's a family business, low key, but we gotta, we gotta get there. So right now it's all go time, and we pushing it. Can you describe your style? How you describe your style of music? Um, my style, my style is, somebody called me the female dirt yo. Now that is my favorite rap, but not saying that I do sound like him, but that is the feedback that I receive. But yeah, I say like a little dirt, um, Roddy, Roddy Rich. I don't know, just this whole new way, this whole new millennial music. And on top of that, I got a, a um, I listen to, you know, older generation music too. So I mix both of it, you know, how can, how can we, we use the same, you know, traditional ways, but upgrade it a little bit with this, with this new, with this new stuff, you know, new technology. You know. And you know everything got ups and downs. So would you mind like sharing some of your downs you done went through trying to do this music shit? Man, doing this, man, I got I got scammed a couple times. I recently just got scammed, like I don't like getting scammed. That that's that's that do something to you because you you risking it, you know, you chasing your dream and for somebody to, you know, do you cruddy. You know, it be, you know, on some vulnerable type thing, on some vulnerable type. So what's your advice for uh, up and coming artists, you, you feel me, to avoid those type of potholes? My advice is just to be aware of what you get yourself into. And, you know, me personally, I just put myself out there. I take the risk, you know. I say scared money don't make none. So just take risks, but also be prepared for what comes with you know, whatever, you know, it, it comes with. Yeah. So where you see yourself in the near future with your music? Like, where you see yourself? So in the near future, in the near future, I'm aiming to be mainstream, right? Not just for the city, but for, for many, many cities and many people like myself, you know. Um, I just want to have a voice and use use my talent the correct way, you know, get paid for my talent, so I'm gonna invest in some businesses, you know, just keep myself, keep myself up, keep myself good, and just make sure that I never stop, I don't give up, because it's gonna come. If I stop, then that's on me, and yeah, that would be the day that, you know, I beat myself up, but I won't ever see that day because I ain't gonna stop. So, say if it's a little guy or a little girl, they want to start doing music, like, what's your best advice for them? Um, 
my best advice is to I don't know. My best advice is to like I don't know. I would say continue, you know, doing what you do, even though some people may say you know you won't succeed in that, or maybe they say you sound stupid or whatnot. Keep doing and keep doing research and keep perfecting your craft because the older you get, the older you get, you grow into it. So you start younger and you keep moving, you're going to be a beast by the time you're my age. And yeah, don't listen to the negativity. But I would, I would keep pushing them. Like if my little brother wanted to do music, he would be in the studio. But my little brother dance. So. All right, so what project you got coming? What you working on? So the next project, I got, I got a couple projects. I got a couple EPs. You can see, you can see an album or something like that by the end of the year. But right now I'm doing EPs. But right now, no sailings. Be on the lookout for no sailings. No sailings and EP is the same. You know. Yeah. That's the one. NTS. You feel me? Yeah, right now I got quarantine and chill out. That's on all platforms. You can go check me out. Um, I'm on YouTube. I'm on. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Spotify. I'm on Apple Music. Um, Pandora. You can just type my name in, and you can check out Blackbird. That's my first album I dropped at the beginning of the year. And yeah. Be just pushing it, so just be on the lookout. I'm dropping consistently, you know. I try to keep it consistent, make sure everybody on their toes because you never know. Y'all heard it first, man. The way you at show exclusive, man. Yeah. NTS, Nera, you family. I'm looking forward to whatever you got going. You know, I support you, got your back. You family, the city going to support you and have your back. You family, we going to do it, all right? Yeah. The way you at show, we out.